I think the coronavirus took every single leader by surprise, and honestly, a lot of us are just try trying to play catch up, trying to figure out what do we do next. Well, in this video, I have five books that have been really, really helpful for me in this season of uncertainty, and I hope it brings a lot of value to you. Everything I create is for all the dreamers and doers. I want to give them that joyful confidence that Jesus offers us a better way to life, and he offers us a better way to lead. If you've been around my channel any length of time, you know I have a passion for books, and I'm actually really pumped because I just got my own book stamp. Focus, there it is. And so lately I've just been around just punching everything. What I really found in this time is I've been actually rereading some books that were helpful for me, but I knew that I needed them in this season. I definitely stamped my hand. I didn't think that that would happen. The first book I think would be really helpful in this time of chaos is my man, Dallas Willard. He has a book called Life Without Lack. And this is a really good book because it really just walks through Psalm 23. And it was really good for my soul as I walked through it about four or five months ago. And I'm actually finding myself rereading this, remembering that the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. My soul desperately needs God in this time. And so do you, obviously. And so this book has been really, really helpful. The second book that's really, really helpful for us is Delighting in the Trinity by Michael Reeves. I have found a lot of joy from this book. Um, I think, again, in this moment, we need to remember the triune love of God. And so this book is such a great mixture of just really good theology, but how it practically flows into our life. And it really gave me a more robust view of the Trinity. And in these moments, I am clinging to the Trinity uh, because of all the chaos that we have. And I think this book would be really, really helpful for you. The Common Rule by Justin Whitmill Early. He actually has really good resources on his website right now of how to deal with the coronavirus, some new habits. But in the midst of all of this, more than ever, us and our people are tempted to get lazy. They are tempted to, um, all of our routines are already off. A lot of us are just stuck in our house. And so now more than ever, we need to be disciplined. But I love his approach on how we can be disciplined and even not only in how we can love God, but also how we can love others. And I think he just comes at it and says, a creative and loving way um, most people when they think of these rituals they think it's so rigid I just I think the way he comes about it is super helpful my prayer in this whole time of this coronavirus is we cling to the practices of Jesus family systems and congregational life by Robert Creech literally chapter 4 is about how to lead in chaotic times how to help those who are hurting all sorts of stuff it is so practical it talks a lot about emotional triangling there's a lot of stuff that counselors know about but us as pastors um, sadly, we weren't necessarily trained in these things. And so this has been a super helpful book for me in understanding what kind of leader do I need to be in every moment. And it's really taught me I don't need to run into every situation and think I have it all figured out. I need to walk slowly into every situation and listen to what God has for that situation and not jump to conclusions. Very, very helpful book already in this time of crisis. The last book I think would be really, really helpful for your leadership team to go through is Reappearing Church by Mark Sayers. I know the irony. This book has actually disappeared. I've used it so much. The reason this book is so helpful is it talks about the process of renewal. And I think in this moment, we can realize how God is actually using this to renew the remnant of his church and for us to rise and make much of Jesus. What's insane is this guy is such a modern day prophet. Literally, the beginning of chapter two, it says, imagine if we endured a global flu pandemic. Bro, he wrote that like earlier this year, I mean, in 2019, and that's happened. Very, very helpful book to understand what is happening and also how we can pastor and communicate in the future. Hope you enjoyed that book list. Let me know down below which one you want the most and I will pick one random winner and I will Amazon deliver it to you for free. See you later.